Hello everyone and welcome to the Sizzling Kitchen where today we shall be making chicken schnitzel. Now for the chicken you're going to need three pounds of raw dog chicken and you can see it's exactly three pounds. Wait, 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 hold up, I might be wrong. Hey Siri. What's three pounds in grams? Three pounds is 1,360.78 grams. Okay, crap. I'm preparing the Mac Daddy of knives to cut this chicken in half. Now this is where you pull out the hum V. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to hit that chicken. You know what I'm saying? I want you to hit that chicken. Well, actually not too hard because you might create a hole in it. Just saying. Okay, cool. And now for the mix. You're gonna need breadcrumbs because you want it to have that crispy surface. And then as an option, you can have crisp to give it that flavor. The rest of the ingredients are on the screen right now. All right, so now we gotta start with the flour. You add in the flour, as I said, one and a half cups. You add the paprika, about three teaspoons of that. And then you add one teaspoon of salt. You can put in a little bit of black pepper. It depends how sensitive you are to pepper. That's the thing. And then white pepper to give it that everlasting goodness. You know what I'm saying? Now into a separate bowl. I want you to crack the eggs in this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, check out this one-handed crack. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Ignore that, that was unprofessional of me. And now of course you have to whisk the eggs. In a separate bowl, I want you to put the breadcrumbs in there. And here comes the part where you crush the breadcrumbs with your hands. Mm. Pretty good. So you crush them into sort of fine pieces, not really that fine, it can be a bit coarse. At this point is when I want you to preheat the oil so that it gets perfectly hot. 180 degrees if your cooker can measure that. You get your chicken and you dip it straight into the nasty eggs. Yeah, and then you dip it into the flour. Give it a nice twirl around with a dry mix, not just flour, you know what I'm saying? Put it back in the eggs. I then put it in your crispy mixture. And now you can put it in the oil. But in case you're like me and you don't want to use a frying pan, you can always put it in a deep fryer. It makes life so much easier, I can promise you that. At this point, I got some help, of course. Oh, look what we have here. The chicken's almost done. Are you ready for this? Mama mia. Can you look at that? Nice and crispy. Check out how juicy it is on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Check out how juicy this thing is, man. Mm -mm. Saying. You can tell by my reaction that I was really enjoying this. All right, so y'all, you have reached the part I like to call the grand sizzle rating. This is where I rate the food that I have cooked. And should you try it, so for the smell, I give it this 2 out of 5, ease factor 3 out of 5, looks 3 out of 5, and the price is 3 out of 5. This means overall it gets a grand sizzle rating of... Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. It was alright. This has been The Sizzling Kitchen, aka The Coolest Cooking Show on YouTube. i like to shout out to everybody who subscribed, everybody who's helped sharing the word, and everybody you're watching. I deuces, baby. Peace.